Well, that was a strange intro because I thought my camera was all set up and then it wasn't and here I am and what? Never mind. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome everyone to Coffee and Headlines. This is our daily get together live here on Facebook where we exchange headlines, comments, topics, suggestions, questions and ideas that help us have an awesome life here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. Today is Friday, Friday, uh, February the 12th. Today is an important day because we uh, know that our restrictions uh, end today and we're going to see what happens after the restrictions. But I don't want to get ahead of myself, first of all. Uh, my name is Paco. If this is the first time you're joining us, uh, we love to hear from new friends that join us every morning. So if you are new to the broadcast, please let us know by writing the word new in your comments. And if this is um, if you have something important that you wish to bring up during the broadcast, please let us know by adding the letter Q at the beginning of your question or comment. We'll try as much as we can to get to it during the broadcast itself. And if not, I will try to address it afterwards as we're reviewing the, the show notes. So let us start, as always, to see uh, seeing who is around. Let me take a quick look at your hello. So many good mornings. Good morning, Claude. It's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, happy Friday, indeed. Uh, Paul says, good morning and peekaboo. Yes, absolutely. My camera decided to go crazy on me, but here we are. Uh, San Diego is in the house. This is awesome. Let's see, more happy Fridays. Happy Lunar New Year and good morning from the jungle in Tavachines. The jungle in Tavachines. I love that, Stephanie. Uh, is there an equivalent to TGIF in Spanish? No, we just go for the nearest bottle of tequila or beer and just start celebrating. But no, we don't have a TGIF. Um, we can say literally, gracias a Dios es viernes, but it's not necessarily something that is uh, widespread and used. Let's see, what else do we have? Da, 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 da. Oh, Mark says that he is a pata salada. Congratulations, Mark, on your... Um, your permanent card, your permanent resident card. This is absolutely wonderful. Um, Stephanie says, still being positive with restrictions for 60 plus being lifted. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Earl, Earl, Earl is in Provincetown and um, we, Earl, as, as Aside from sharing uh, a long and, and, and beautiful music history through college and whatnot, uh, I am sure that Earl is thinking, as I am thinking, of the passing of a very important jazz legend. Um, Chick Corea passed away this week. We get to talk about this um, later on in the program, but it's great to see that you're here, Earl. You were on my mind all day yesterday because of Chick Corea's passing. And I'm sure you know why. Let's see. Breaking news for Canadian viewers. Trudeau's hotel jail 2K thing starts officially February 22nd. Okay. Good thing I'm not planning on going there. Um, let's see. We have a huge fire in front of our house in Jungle. Paco, you should have been here. My muy guapo bomberos. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I saw something that was important here. Any plans for Valentine's Day, say, says Dave Riddings. I think Valentine's Day, and I think we were very clear about this yesterday, Valentine's Day is not a cause for celebration to this year. I hope everybody or anybody that is celebrating uh, Valentine's Day will be doing it at home with a loved one. Uh, Joe says, Hola, and I think this is a good moment for us to get started with our news. We have plenty of news today. Um, where are my news? They are here are my news, yes. So look who's back. Okay, so let's get started with our news. Uh, for starters, we have um, the fact that, as I announced yesterday, uh, today is the end of the restrictions. Some people went ahead and said, 
uh, everything will be lifted. And I figure if we want to wait until the governor says what he has to say. And lo and behold, the governor came up on a video that he published on Facebook yesterday, announcing the success of the latest restriction period, confirming the accomplishments with a series of charts that position our state ahead of others when it comes to casualties and active cases. Uh, he's also announced that the next stage of guidelines or restrictions will be made public today at one o'clock in the afternoon. This can only mean one thing. <laughs> if you're a citizen 60 years of older, you better get to Costco before one o'clock because they might change their minds. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, no, seriously. Um, we had hoped for an early morning announcement of the new guidelines and this didn't happen. So at one o'clock, we are going to stay put and we are going to look at the announcement and quite possibly we will go live uh, right at one o'clock to try to interpret and, and simul translate uh, the announcement. I think we're going to be home today. Luna doesn't have any plans to leave the house. So if um, there's an important announcement that is made by the governor at one o'clock, we will go live again unscheduled just to see what is going on with that. Now, moving right on, we have that uh, Hugo Lopez Gatel gave a report on vaccination progress. This is uh, our health undersecretary who announced that 622,658 people have received their first vaccine doses. Uh, and of all of those people, 85,332 have received the second one, thus completing the treatment. A shipment of between 500 and 800,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine is expected to arrive within the next few days. And an additional 491,000 Pfizer vaccines will arrive this coming Tuesday. Even though senior vaccinations have begun, uh, completing treatments for our country's medical personnel continues to be a top priority. And speaking of priorities in vaccination, uh, Puerto Vallarta Mayor Davalos called for strengthening sanitary strategies uh, when he participated in the latest online meeting of the state sanitary committee prior to today's announcements. And he also requested additional vaccines for Puerto Vallarta's municipal workers, including policemen, firemen, and the civil protection crew, as they are also part of our city's first line of defense as far as COVID is um, concerned. Uh, more COVID-related news, somewhat. But if you start walking around the city, you start realizing, and you pay attention, you start realizing the many discarded face masks that are ending up everywhere. And uh, unfortunately, many of them, according to Jaime Torres, who is director of the El Salado Estuary, are ending up at this protected natural area of our city because they travel through the different channels channels used to direct uh, rainwater to the ocean. So Jaime Torres, uh, who directs this beautiful natural preserve uh, uh, protected area, uh, made a call to the population saying something to the effect of, if you're going to dispose of your face masks, uh, please throw them away in a place where they're not going to pollute our environment. We, uh, we have reported previously on problems with face masks showing up in beaches, and in the ocean and so forth and so on. And we can certainly see that this is going to be a problem moving forward. Uh, let's see one more serious or formal news item before we head into the leisurely stuff. Um, our mayor went to take a look at how things are going with the construction or the, um, um, the rebuilding of the laterals on the southbound side of Avenida Francisco Medina Asensio. As we know, these, um, these enhancements were begun, uh, began last year at the end of the year, where uh, the new laterals being built with enough space for a bicycle path. And we can see in this photograph that um, Indeed, the, this, is a, this shows us a little bit of the sidewalk and how there's a red stretch along the sidewalk itself that is going to be designated for bicycle traffic only. So this is very exciting. Needless to say, the work is not done and it still has to continue further along uh, the old um, 
uh, Comer, which is now Soriana, and so forth and so on. So this is this is good news. We hope that they will continue working on these um, on these repairs, and that uh, people that are riding their bicycles are able to do so safely. Let me take a quick look at some of your comments. Be bari babu. Let's see. Shum boom boom. Any plans for Valentine's Day? We've been there. Let's see. Moving right up. Uh, la la. How many followers do we have now? And you admire my candor, says Jim Smith. You know, I cannot answer that question while we are live on this fabulous new system because this fabulous new system does not show me how many people are watching, but that's okay. Uh, I can take a look at uh, some of the numbers and I'd be happy to share uh, the numbers tomorrow or over the weekend. Oh, tomorrow is the weekend. What am I talking about? Uh, let's see what else we have. Boom, Paco. Oh. After how many years will a non-native be considered a, a pata salada? Asks Jorge. Well, Jorge, it depends on who you ask. Locals will tell you, and by locals I mean folks that were born in Puerto Vallarta, will tell you that the only pata saladas are the people that were born here. The rest of us are wannabes. So I don't consider myself an official pata salada. Um, and, um, you know, I suppose we just need to, to wait. But, I mean, if, for all intents and purposes, having been here 19 years, I think of myself as an unofficial pata salada. Let's see. Uh, love stinks. Let's drink. I drink to that, Sean. I drink to that. <laughs> Let's see. What else do we have? Mm. Let's see. Nice video diptych. You know, I'm just learning. I'm just learning how to use this new chingadera. And as I'm learning how to use this new chingadera, I took my laptop to the doctor and my laptop seems to be suffering from a bad battery and my laptop will come back. Thank you very much for the head count. It's nice to see that there are 205 people joining us today at Coffee and Headlines. You are so welcome to be here. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, maybe I could be a patasalada. Well, I don't know if I can be a patasalada, but let us not concern ourselves with that. Let us concern ourselves with the weather and look who's back. Yes, the weather is back and let me just get rid of this. Um, watching me on the big screen. That is so funny. Right now, we are, uh, it's actually, it was 19 degrees when I prepared that, uh, that chart, so it must be a little warmer. But I can tell you that uh, today we're going to have mostly clear skies in the morning with a high temperature of 24, a little bit of rain in the afternoon. Tonight, we will have light rain throughout the evening and throughout the night with a low temperature of 18. Tomorrow, Saturday, we can expect a few rain showers with a high temperature of 24. And tomorrow night, light rain throughout the night uh, with a 50% chance of rain and a low temperature of 17. And Sunday, we will enjoy uh, rain in the morning with a high temperature of 23 and light rain through the night, uh, Sunday evening, uh, with a, a low temperature of 18. And that's what we're looking at as far as the temperature is concerned. Uh, boom, ba -ba boom Moving right along, I want to tell you more headlines. I want to share more headlines with you, including this one. Let me do the diptych again because that was fun. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so what's next for local tourism promotion, you may be asking. We have restrictions in Canada. We have restrictions in the States, etc., etc. Well, obviously, now the uh, Puerto Vallarta's Tourism Bureau is looking at Semana Santa promotion, of course. Given the current restrictions in both countries north of our border, the Bureau will now focus on their marketing promotion efforts in the national tourism market, emphasizing positioning Puerto Vallarta as a preferred vacation destination in different cities along Mexico's Bajio region, which is the middle part of the country, and this includes cities such as Aguascalientes, Zacatecas, León, 
en Guanajuato. This year's two week Semana Santa and Semana de Pascua period will start on March 27 and conclude on April 12th. And as I mentioned before, I wanted to uh, acknowledge the very, very sad passing of jazz legend Chick Corea, who um, there are simply no words to describe the legacy of his output, his music, um, his commitment to education, and so many, so many other accomplishments uh, that jazz legend uh, Chick Corea had uh, or added to his list of, of accomplishments at, when he passed away at age 79 uh, earlier this week uh, uh, due to a rare form of cancer. Um, his musical output includes 23 Grammy Awards in a prolific discography with other masters, including Miles Davis, Herbie Han Hancock, and of course, Gary Burton. If you are not familiar with his work, I will leave you with a link to the trailer for his 2020 album called Antidote. Uh, for this album, he earned a Grammy Award for Best Jazz Latin or Latin Jazz Album last year, and it is a truly phenomenal album with special guests that include Ruben Blades singing, and uh, it's just fantastic. And of course, as we mourn the passing of a great one, we also celebrate the continued success of another one. This week, two days ago, to be uh, precise, Carol King's Tapestry turned 50. Can you imagine it's been 50 years since you've got a friend, It's Too Late, and all those wonderful songs? Um, Rolling Stone magazine published an overview of why the 1971 landmark remains one of pop's greatest dedications of independence, and it is a fabulous article. This is a great album, and the, the I've always admired Carole King's musicianship, and this is not a strange a bit of news here at Coffee and Headlines. We've mentioned her repeatedly due to her accomplishments. One of the first women to break out from this standard business of either being a songwriter or an artist, she decided I'm going to be both, and that what tapis that is what tapestry was when it came out. A movie that we've mentioned uh, previously as well called Grace of My Heart is a fictionalized depiction of. Uh, of this accomplishment, and it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful film to watch. I strongly recommend it. I have recommended it in the past, and um, and I'll continue to recommend it as we move forward. Let me take a quick look at some of your comments. Boom. Let's see what we have here. Uh, da -dee -da 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 Lots of people watching today. It's always fun to know that uh, there are folks joining our merry crowd. Uh, let's see what we have. I don't see any cues. I see a lot of comments. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Lynn chimes in on Chick Corea. Uh, and yes, uh, Michal says, a Tapestry was the first album I bought. I remember my older cousin singing it repeatedly, and I'm not, I, at the time I was just a kid, I didn't understand what the music was all about. Uh, Matthew chimes in also on Tapestry, the soundtrack of my young adulthood. I love it. Um, let's see. Michael wonders if that album is still on the charts. Well, it continues to be absolutely seminal. It continues to show up in Hall of Fame uh, <clears throat> lists as one of the greatest albums. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Michael asks, can I be your secret Valentine? Well, let, only if you keep it a secret, Michael. <laughs> Anyhow, I have one more headline that I want to share with you, and this came to me um, last minute this morning. There is a need to actually give me one second. Let me. Oh, that was better than sex. Um, there, This news came to me very uh, early this morning as a late news item. Uh, someone is looking for a flight agent, Angel, from PV to Seattle to Van to Seattle, to Vancouver. Ah, got it. Champy was to leave tomorrow, but Alaska Airlines canceled pets in cargo due to inclement weather. 
and flight angel has to leave without him family is heartbroken and waiting for him so if you happen to be heading up to uh, Seattle and then to Vancouver and you are willing and able to be a flight angel uh, I will put the, the contact information for this particular mission in the show notes should you wish to embrace it um, and I can't believe we just cruised by the whole show and it's only 1051 we usually go for 30 minutes at the very least so let me uh, suggest that we play a game as long as we are here uh, in one word in one word just one word tell us what's on your mind this very moment go meanwhile I'll sip a cup of coffee and we'll just see what you come up with Okay, 10 seconds have gone by. Uh, Paul is thinking about gentlemen. Good for you. That sounds like a fun thing to think about. Uh, Barbara wants to go walking. I love it. That makes two of us. Breakfast sounds wonderful. Um, Karen wants to fly. I have a brownie if you'd like that. Um, Michal is thinking, oh my God, you guys are going so quick. Let's... <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, so now that you got the, the, the idea, my goodness, my goodness, how can I like show all this stuff? Earl's thinking vodka. Alan is thinking PV. Dave is thinking cute dog need ride. That's four words. Kristen is thinking happiness. Sherry is thinking fun game. That's three words. Sly is thinking sex. That makes two of us. Uh, Salam is thinking health. Jim, you are cheating. That is two words. Mark is thinking vaccines. Michael is thinking Vallarta. John is thinking pesos. A lot of people are thinking pesos. Um, Angelica is thinking the price is right. That is two words, four words. Uh, Susan is thinking Valentine cookies. That is two words. Cheating. Randall is thinking birds. Oh, nothing, 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 nothing dirty. I love it. You guys are a cool uh you're a you're a clean crowd the only person that is dirty around here is me mary is thinking food michael is thinking rain rita is thinking poetry kathleen i miss you i miss you enrique is thinking cocktail it's cocktail o'clock somewhere i love it um i love it. oh oh my favorite judy is thinking wine of course i'm always thinking wine um I love this. Already ate the brownie, says Kristen Conroy. Uh, make sure that that was a happy brownie and make sure you allow about 45 minutes for the brownie to take into effect. Packing, beach, Costco. Uh, Earl, seriously, didn't you notice that drinking is a sport in Puerto Vallarta in your past visits? Everybody here is drinking and I actually think we're all drinking more than we used to because of the pandemic. <clears throat> um, oh, I love it. Joey is thinking work. I'm thinking I miss Joey. Uh, Marie is thinking vacation. You know, I am starting to think about day passes again here in Puerto Vallarta. I learned from a trusted friend of mine, you know, here I was thinking that restrictions, the current restrictions that were effective as of yesterday and not effective anymore, included the fact that hotel common areas were not supposed to be available to guests. And, um, and a friend of mine reported on Facebook that he had gone to a fabulous um, day pass at the Villa Premier Hotel, which is not far from my house, and I asked him all the details. Turns out that pools have been open all along and I've been pining for a swimming pool in a place where I will not be recognized. <laughs> so if anybody has been doing day passes or has plans for a day pass and you wanna suggest um, a day pass location, uh, please let me know because this is something that I would appreciate your recommendations. Um, before we leave, I think tomorrow is Saturday all day long. And I think tomorrow would be a good day to tackle this business of tipping. 
the fine art of tipping and the fine art of bargaining, regatear. So tomorrow, we are going to talk about bargaining, where to do it, where not to do it, how much to push, what to expect, a couple of phrases that you might want to use if you're trying to <laughs> bargain in Spanish, which kind of defeats the purpose because bargaining becomes very complicated for people that sound and look like tourists or foreigners, but we'll dive into that. And we will also talk about tipping. Tipping is uh, uh, something that is handled differently in different parts of the world, and tipping has become increasingly important in our small universe here in Puerto Vallarta because we can all... Um, help. We can all help as we tip along. So this is going to be part of what we're going to talk about tomorrow. But today, I think this is a good time to wrap it up. And it is, of course, always a pleasure to be with you. And it is always a pleasure to answer your questions and answer your comments and uh, look forward with anticipation together as to what life will offer us um, moving forward. Again, I'll keep my eyes open. Uh, during this morning's or this afternoon's broadcast uh, by the governor and I will very likely go live around one o'clock if he is punctual <laughs> just to try to translate everything that is going on so that we can be at ease and know whether we have to do a mad dash to Costco or not between now and then please stay kind stay calm stay happy stay healthy uh, stay drinking why not just be careful don't do too much of it and last but certainly not least, please stay in touch and look who I found uh, in my archives.